We're in South San Francisco going to a beloved sandwich institution, affectionately known as Little Luca's. This place specializes in obscenely large Italian deli sandwiches, as big as your head, if your head is enormous and oblong shaped. What Little Luca's really specializes in, which is uh, tiger bread or Dutch crunch bread, which is this special kind of bread that's treated with a rice paste on the outside so it gets this really wonderful, crunchy, chewy, and mottled look and texture. We're gonna try a few of these incredible sandwiches that they're famous for. I'm really excited. I want one three meat special. Okay. And then let's try the combo, the classic. Okay, the mortadella salami provolone cheese, right? Yeah. And then we'll try the one that you were telling me about the tri tip. That tri tip special? Yeah. Of course. So we got three sandwiches and, 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 and garlic sauce on all of them and hot sauce on all of them. And of course, you're gonna get the Dutch crunch bread. The Dutch bread, crunch right? bread. Mama. The child is born in South San Francisco. Mm. The once and future king. Not one, not two, but three enormous sandwiches for which I can play. Three sandwich Monty. Where did I hide it? We have the tri-tip special, which was recommended by Yvonne. We have uh, the, the classic Little Luca combo. So why don't we have an unveiling ceremony. You know if you can see through the paper that it's gonna be good. Oh, it's just, it's just so beautiful. I'm so proud. I've, I, I know what a parent feels like now. Look at this thing, it's so beautiful. That, that is the tri-tip, this is the three meat. You ready for some NC-17 Oh yeah, my beautiful baby boy. I shall name you Lucas Jr. She'll name you Lucas III. She'll name you Lucy. My daughter. Oh, yes. Even one more beautiful than the last. You make me feel like a natural Lucas. Lucas! You remember that Murphy Brown episode when she has a baby? Of course you don't, because who remembers Murphy Brown? But that's what Candace Bergen sings when she uh, has a baby. It was a big deal. It was a big deal when that came out. Why don't we just get going with the original, the Luca combo. As you can see from the, the beautiful outside of this Dutch crunch bread, sometimes called tiger bread, sort of mottled striations across the top, which are absolutely beautiful and also chewy and delightful. It's not cheese, which is what I originally thought when I ate this, but it's done with rice paste. And so rice paste is covered on the outside of the bread and then when it's baked, it gets it sort of cracks and breaks and creates this really great texture that is both a pleasure to look at and to eat. It has salami, it has provolone, it has mortadella. What is provolone? You ask, provolone is cheese. Provolone is a soft uh, cow's milk cheese. What is mortadella? Mortadella is Italian luncheon meat, finely hashed, pork meat in which there consists like pork fat. And what these little cubes are in the mortadella, that's pork fat. And then uh, salami is made from beef or pork. Sometimes it's made from veal. Uh, and it's put into a casing frequently in which mold is injected. And so it gives it that kind of funky tang, uh, spiced with garlic and pepper and sometimes wine and vinegar. I almost don't want to eat it because it's, it's just too beautiful, but I will. I'm sorry. I love you. The key to a good sandwich is the bread. Um, what this has, there's that crunchiness that gives way to a chewiness. And 
that's the key, and that's what makes this bread particularly good and particularly pleasing. And then, of course, there is the garlic sauce, which is so pungent, so garlicky. It tastes like it has some herbs and a lot of Italian parsley and uh, olive oil. Oh, I'm just in heaven. I could eat this sandwich all the time, all day, every day. This is the classic. This is the Little Luca. What we have here now, the one that I sort of custom ordered, Copa, the cured neck muscle of the pig that runs from the neck of the animal down to like the fourth or fifth rib. And it is cured uh, frequently with wine, giving it a little bit of like a lighter, sweeter flavor. And then prosciutto, which does not come from the belly, but which comes from the hind leg of a pig or even a wild boar. It really has everything you could possibly want, the garlic, the wine, the pepper, the spices. You've got that cold, crunchy sweetness, the pickles, and then the really sharp tang of the garlic sauce. And then it's all sort of held together by this really excellent bread. Okay, we have one more sandwich. Another battleship of a sandwich. This is the tri-tip. It looks like it has tri-tip bacon cheese. What is a uh, tri-tip? I believe is from the bottom sirloin. What a beautiful mess this is. And it looks like it's done with cheddar cheese. That's good too. It's still enormous. It still has all the garlic sauce and the hot sauce and all the great things about the other sandwiches. What you would imagine a Quizno sub to be 10 times better, that's what this is. This place is so small and modest and basic in the best sense of the word, but they produce a great product and a very reasonably priced one too. So, little Lucas, I love you. Don't change. I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Dining on a Dime from Little Luca Specialty Sandwich Shop in South San Francisco. If you'd like to watch more, please click here. Out of a little piece of bread and put it on our face and wear a little mask. It looks ridiculous. It looks like some eyes wide shut, but. It